Welcome back everyone to learning by teaching. We're in statics and we're gonna do problem 3.38, okay? It says, determine the forces in cables A and C and AB needed to hold the 20 kilogram ball at D in equilibrium if force is equal to 300 newtons and D is equal to one meter, okay? So we have these two cables, a cable AB and AC, and we have this ball hanging over here and we also have a force pulling me to the right. So let's draw the free body diagram of this problem. So if we do F, B, D of this problem at point A. So we will have, this is my point A. So we will have 300 Newtons going to the right. So we got 300 Newtons. We will have the weight going down and we will have two cables going up. So we have that cable and A, B and this is A, C, okay? Now, what is this weight going down? So, we need to calculate that one. Weight is equal to mass times gravity. So we got 20 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 and this should be equal to 196.2 newtons, okay? Uh, in order to know the angle of these guys, so of AC and also the angle for AB, we need to find them with respect to the height of these cables, okay? So let's call this red angle gamma. So for this guy, it's gamma, and the blue one is gonna be theta. So let's find, find theta, uh, gamma first. So if we wanna find gamma, we can do it by applying the inverse tangent. And since we know tangent is opposite over adjacent, so how much is the opposite? The opposite is one meter plus 1.5 meter. So that gets me 2.5 meters. All divided by the adjacent, which is this guy over here and it's two meters. Okay. We can use our calculator over here, so we got inverse tangent of 2.5 divided by 2, and it's equal to 51.34. So this is equal to 51.34 degrees. And we know that gamma is equal to the inverse tangent of the opposite, which is only one meter, divided by the adjacent, which is equal to two meters. Okay, and let's check what this guy is. So we got inverse tangent, so inverse tangent of one divided by two is equal to 26.56. So 26.56 degrees, okay? So we can include these guys over here. Oh, basically, let's just leave it like that. We already know these guys are in here. Okay, so let's do the forces in equilibrium. So we got the summatory of forces in the x direction. What do we have? We have 300 Newtons going to, to the right. Let's don't forget that this guy is 196.2, right? So we got 300 going to the right. So we got 300 Newtons minus AB going to the left. So it's gonna be AB cosine of its angle. So for AB is gamma, so 51.34, 51.34 degrees minus AC multiplied by the cosine of 26.56, 26.56 should be all equal to zero, okay? We can, let's, Organize this equation, we got the 300, it's equal to the addition of the two forces. So, like this. Okay. And now let's do the summatory of forces in the y direction. So what do we have? We have AB going up. So we got AB positive multiplied by the sine of its angle, which is 51.34, plus 
AC multiplied by the sine of its angle, which is 26.56 minus 196.2. And this should be all equal to zero. Okay, now if we rearrange this guy, we get, let's just solve for AB in, for, in this equation. So we got AB is going to be equal to, so if we pass this guy to the other side, it's gonna become positive, so 196.2 positive. This positive is gonna become negative, so minus AC multiplied by the sine of 26.56. And all divided by the number that was multiplied AB. No, AB was multiplied for, so sine of 51.34 degrees. Okay? So let's make these guys into numbers. I don't like to work with fraction. So let's see 196.2 divided by the sine of 51.34. So sine of 51.34 degrees is equal to 251.3. So this is equal to 251.3 minus sine of 26.56 divided by 51.34. So sine of 26.56 divided by the sine of 51.34. And we get that this is equal to 0 0.573. So we got 0 0.573 being multiplied by AC. Okay, so this is what AB is equal to. Let's erase this over here so we have more spaces in case we need it. And let's plug this guy, let's plug this guy into this guy. So we got 300 newtons equal to AB, which is all this. So 251.3 minus 0 0.573 AC multiply by cosine of 51.34. So cosine of 51.34 plus AC cosine of 26.56, okay? So let's multiply this guy. So we got 300 is equal to, I wanna erase this guy too. And let's see what that is. So we got 251.3 multiplied by the cosine of 51.34. And it's equal to 156.9. So 156.98 minus, how much is that? 0 0.57 multiplied by the cosine of 51.34 is equal to 0 0.358 if we round it up AC plus how much is this cosine so cosine of 26.56 is actually equal to 0 0.8948 C okay so what we can do, we pass this guy over to this side and we add these two guys together. So we got 300 minus 156.98. This side becomes 143.01 equal to, and let's see what these two guys add up. So we got 0 0.94 minus the 0 0.3. 5a it's equal to 0 0.536 ac and if we solve for ac this should be equal to so we get 143 divided by the 0 0.536 and this is equal to 266 newtons okay 
Now, we can check what AB is equal to using this final equation, this guy over here. So AB is going to be equal to 251.3 minus 0 0.573 multiplied by 266. Okay, and what is this equal to? So we got 251.3 minus the multiplication of the 0 0.57 3 multiplied by 266 to so my final answer and this is equal to 98.7 newtons okay so we found the magnitude of the force AC and we also found, found the magnitude of the force AB okay thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments just put post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video